Hey YouTube, thanks again for watching Rich's Methods. Today on this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix a TRS plug. That's tip ring sleeve. That's your normal headphone plug that you find on headphones that don't have any extra things added on, like a microphone or a volume control. Just your generic headphone plug. Uh, in my old video, in my other videos, I show how to replace the plug itself. However, I've had a lot of questions about replacing the broken headphone plug with a working headphone plug like I have here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the wire off and I'm gonna solder or just bound together this new headphone plug to the old headphone plug. You're gonna see in the upper left corner of your screen there's a hyperlink to the tip ring ring sleeve, the TRRS plug. That plug is a little bit more complicated than this normal one. Uh, it's for headphones with a microphone. You'll see the hyperlink in the upper left corner of your screen. But this video is just the tip ring sleeve, the normal TRS plug. What I need to do is burn the enamel coating off first. This is probably the most important step of the video and I can't emphasize this more. You're gonna burn the enamel coating off with a lighter or a match. Um, make sure that you're careful while you're lighting it because it will travel along the wire. You're also going to need a piece of sandpaper to help get that enamel coating off as well as some uh, isopropyl alcohol just to wipe it clean. You want that copper to be showing through pretty well. You're also going to need a pair of wire strippers. You've seen this in my other videos. You're also going to need uh, some electrical tape. Uh, you want to make sure you put this on because you don't want any cross connection between the wires um, after you put them together. So let's get this started and I'll show you how to take your broken head set of headphones and fix them so they're good as new. Okay, so to start, it'll be similar to what we've done before. We're going to be cutting off this bad plug. We're going to take about five to six inches off. That way we make sure that we get any short that's occurring in this wire. We'll make sure that we get it when we cut it off. And then also you're going to take five to six inches of your good wire. Um, and we do this so that you have plenty of wire available when you're working. That way if you have to redo the connection, you can cut it off and have some more wire to work with. So I would definitely take off at least five to six inches on each. So here we have the uh, Sony headphones that I'm trying to repair, the black wire, with the end of the, the iPod uh, earbud uh, plug that works. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my wire strippers, strip off this rubber coating on the outside of each of these wires and expose the wires that are within you know, within this, within each of their wires, respectively. Let me show you how I burn off this enamel coating. You see I have the red wire right here. This is very simple. I've showed this in my other videos, but I think I'll just reiterate it because this is very important. Uh, you're going to take the um, red wire, or your color, any of the wires actually, you're going to separate it out, and then all you do is just take the lighter and just burn the very tip of it. And just blow it out. Uh, make sure that you keep a good amount of this insulation on here because you don't want a lot of cross connection between the wires. It's a good idea only to do like the first quarter inch to half inch leaving this red enamel coating on here. So I'm just going to do it one more time just to get a little bit more off. Good. And then I'm going to take some sandpaper and again very lightly because these wires are very fragile. Just sandpaper it off. All that soot. And you should start to see the copper kind of showing through underneath. And then what I do once that's kind of exposed, I take a paper towel with some isopropyl alcohol and just wipe off any soot that's on there. Remember to do this on the copper colored wires as well, the ground wires. Even though they're copper color and you can see they're kind of shiny there, they do have a clear coating on them. And watch, you'll see this when I actually use the lighter. It'll actually burn away some of the clear coating. just like the other ones. And you do the same thing, just use some sandpaper, take that soot off because that'll prevent a connection as well. And do that to all the wires. Make sure you do that to every wire that you're going to be working with. That way you get a nice connection with all of them. Okay, so I cut the wires in half and I split up the wires that were inside each of them. The iPod earbuds, this is just the TRS plug. You can see there's a tip ring sleeve in silver here. Um, it actually had four wires. Of course, Apple always makes things a little bit more, it's a little bit of better quality, but it makes it a little more complicated. Uh, on the right hand side of your screen you'll see a red wire, that's your right earbud. On the top here is your green wire, that's your left earbud. And then on the top here that I just spun around, this little V here of copper, there's a red and green striped wire on the right hand side, that's a ground. And then the copper here is also a ground, so you're going to keep these two together. 
Uh, what's nice is that Apple has two grounds, one for each earbud, uh, but they don't make them the same color. They make them uh, two different colors. I'm not really sure why. I guess that way you know which one goes to which earbud. Um, but in our case, it doesn't matter. You just keep these two together. Um, so make sure when you do that, you're connecting three wires, the red, the green, and then the green and red striped with the copper. Uh, as one unit. Uh, we're going to be connecting this to a Sony pair of headphones. So I'm taking the Apple earbuds and I'm connecting it to a Sony uh, pair, which also have a, have a very similar setup, which is nice. These TRS plugs are easy to connect. Uh, the Sony plug has two wires. They're like, I don't know if you can see them splitting it apart right now. So I split them apart into two separate wires. I use the wire strippers to take this black and coating off. And on the right side, you'll see that there is a red, there is a red wire on the right here and then there's a copper wire on your left and then on the left for the left earbud we have a green wire all the way on the left side here and then a copper wire so again this is your ground and this is your left earbud and then this is the ground for the right earbud and then this is the sound for the right earbud which is in red so that means that you can take these two center copper wires after you remove the enamel coating remember to remove the enamel coating from copper colored wires because they also have a clear enamel coating on them and I'm just going to wrap them together to make kind of like a trident in the middle. So see how I have the coppers in the middle. Our green wire, which is our left, is on your left. In the middle is the two grounds and on the right is the red or the right earbud. And I'm just going to connect them to the Apple earbud the same way. Red to red, green to green. And then the green and red striped one on the Apple earbud uh, with the copper from the Apple earbud. I'm just going to twist those together not to confuse anyone. That's your ground and you're going to connect that to the copper ground in the Sony. Like so, I'll do that first, that way we avoid any confusion. Okay, so that's together. Uh, next we'll do the green wire. And then put that off to the side. And then finally the red wire. So now all three of those are together. Uh, then what's a good idea? is to make sure you don't have any stray wires coming out. If you do, just cut them off. Um, break them into three like this. Wrap each of these in electrical tape. One, two, three. That way they don't touch each other. And then you can simply uh, flatten it out once the electrical tape's on there and then give another layer of electrical tape on top to give it a nice finished look. Before you do that, though, it'll be a good idea just to test them out, make sure that they're working. Uh, if they are, then you can tape, like I just said. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Uh, just remember that every manufacturer is going to be a little different. They might have slightly different colors. If they do, just comment below and I'll try to answer them, you know, best I can. Thanks again for watching Rich's Methods. I'll see you on YouTube. Bye.